Hey everybody, this is Nathan Ware at Rain Networks. Thanks for joining us today. Um, today we're going to do a video on Proofpoint Essentials and how to set up and verify a domain. So uh, this is a really important step when you have a new Proofpoint Essentials account. Um, essentially, you can almost call it the first step of setting up a Proofpoint Essentials account. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to tell Proofpoint Essentials what domain we want to use for filtering. They are then going to ask us to verify that domain um, by giving us a TXT record that we're going to put into our domain's DNS, and then we will have them check that that TXT record exists. This is similar to um, uh, people that do, you know, Office 365 or Google Apps. Um, Google Apps and Office 365 have a similar process for verification of domain ownership, and so we'll go through this. So let's let's get right into it. What we want to do, we want to get logged into the Proofpoint Essentials portal. Under company settings, we want to come to domains and we're going to put in a new domain. So I'm going to click the new domain button there in the upper left. And then in the top box here, I'm going to give it the domain name that uh, I want to manage. Put that in here. There we go. So there's my domain name. Uh, for domain purpose, the next per, uh, section down, we want to make sure this is set to relay. And then in the third box, delivery destination, this is where we want Proofpoint to deliver our cleaned and filtered mail. So this would be, for example, our current MX record. So in this case here, this domain happens to use Office 365. So basically in here, I'm going to put in the Office 365 server address that uh, Microsoft uh, assigns to this domain. And so Proofpoint will now send any cleaned and filtered message to this address. All right. And then the last step is this verification step. So down here under verification method, I like to use the TXT record. You can use the meta tag me method if that's easier for you. Um, for this example, I'm going to use TXT record since it's the most popular option. I'll select this and you'll see that Proofpoint is going to give me a TXT record that I need to create in my domain's DNS records. So the way I do that for this domain, uh, we use GoDaddy. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this window over here for uh, GoDaddy. What we're going to do is we're going to take this, this TXT value right here. Whoops, let me go ahead and copy that. Okay, and we're going to put it into a TXT record here in the GoDaddy DNS Manager. So I'm going to click the Add button down here in the lower right in the GoDaddy DNS Manager. We're going to tell it that we want to make a TXT record. In the Host section here, you just put an at sign. And in the TXT value, I'm going to paste in that uh, long string that Proofpoint gave me, and then I'm going to hit save. Okay, and so right here, you now see that this uh, TXT record is created. You'll see that we did a similar thing up here for the Office 365 when we put the domain in uh, for Office 365. So now at this point, we just have to kind of wait. You know, the DNS records will update at different um, you know, different periods of time for different DNS providers. GoDaddy's pretty quick. Let's go ahead and click the Verify Now button down here in the lower left. Let's see if it verifies here, and it did. So you can see uh, GoDaddy has very quick DNS updates. Sometimes with some DNS providers, they do it like on the hour or on the half hour. So you may have to wait a few minutes. Um, you may have seen there that there's a Verify Later button there. So you can always create the record, click verify later, and then come back an hour later and try to verify it. So you really just have to gauge how fast you think your DNS provider updates. Okay, once we're back here at the domain list, you can see here's my new domain, and there's one last really important step, and that is this step over here. You can see that the slider box, or the slider button for turning email relay, it's not on. See how it's white? My other domains are green, designating that they are turned on. Make sure that you turn this little slider button on before you go pointing your MX records at Proofpoint, because if you don't, the email will not will not relay and it'll basically bounce. So very, very important step. I see people miss that occasionally. After you've turned this on, you want to wait about 30 to 60 minutes before you actually point your MX records to Proofpoint. Um, we will put the MX record information, by the way, in the description of this video, um, just so you have that handy. But make sure that after you verified your domain, 
you come in here and hit this little green slider button. The last thing you probably want to do is there's a little icon here to the right of the slider button that tests the domain. And I recommend doing this. Let me go ahead and click this. You'll see that you get a little report. Now, right now, it tells me that my MX records are not configured correctly. I knew that because obviously I just turned the domain on and haven't pointed the MX records yet to Proofpoint. But more importantly, it, it tells me that it, Proofpoint can establish a connection to my MX record on port 25. So basically, once I get traffic pointed to the correct MX records, the mail should flow well because port 25 um, is open and Proofpoint can connect to it. So that's the big steps here on how to add a domain to Proofpoint. You're going to come in here to Company Settings, Domains. You'll click on New Domain here in the upper left. You'll put in your domain name. You'll set it to Relay. You'll put in your MX record and then go through that verification step where you create the TXT record, get your domain verified, and then turn the little green slider button on. And that's pretty much it. All in all, as you can see, it took me about five minutes. Very easy, painless process. And now we can start working with this domain in Proofpoint Essentials. Thanks for viewing the video and come back soon. We'll have more Proofpoint videos later on.